Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of EverQuest Old School. Now, on this one, we're going to be going ahead and doing the quest for the Fire Beetle Eye over here in the Dark Elf City of Nariok. Now, this is going to be the long version of this video. If you're hoping for a quick one so you can see where he's at, I'll do a short version. I'll do the LOC. Uh, but this one, I'm going to show you where you can hunt. Uh, the Fire Beetle is a good spot for you guys. Uh, it's called the Log. A lot of people usually congregate around it as well as uh, an NPC where you can buy fire beetles uh, eyes if you're missing one or two or something like that. It's not really worth it in the long run simply because you they're worth, uh, I believe, two silver from the NPC that I'm going to show you. And you only get like 12 or 13 silver for turning in the quest and you need 10 eyes so you can imagine uh, you're going to lose like six or seven silver uh, each time depending on your charisma. Now this is the log right here that I'm referring to. Now, it's not exactly the safest place. As you can see, there's a lot of roamers, some of which will attack you, like the bears uh, or the skeletons. But you'll also see that there are lots of fire beetles over here. And I'll go ahead and attack one as soon as my pet gets done uh, killing this bear, which actually is even, so I may have to help him out. So you do have to worry about these uh, little issues of, uh, of ads. Especially with the fire beetles because there's so many of them over here if you attack one uh, Any other fire beetles that are walking by or crawling by I should say will attack as well They will join in the fight now usually they're not aggro. They're not uh, threateningly to you But because you're attacking one of their friends they go ahead and jump in uh, in the fun Now this can be a good or a bad thing if you were hoping to kill a whole bunch of them and you're able to handle uh, multiples at one time that saves you the trouble of having to go over there and clicking on each and every one. This guy's taking forever. Hurry up a little bit so you can kill some of those uh, fire beetle eyes. Or fire beetles, I should say, and get some eyes off of them. Now, I already have the eyes that I need. You're not going to have to sit here and watch me kill a whole bunch of them waiting to get all of them. They do take quite a long time. Uh, I believe it's about 50, maybe 55% of the time they will drop. The, uh, the spider legs and the rest of the time either nothing at all or the or the eyes. The eyes are probably about 10% of the time they're dropped. Uh, it's pretty rare, but not too bad. If you're sitting here hunting in this area for, for experience, uh, go ahead and kill these guys. Kill these uh, moss snakes. If you guys don't know that quest where you got to turn in three of their skins and three of their fangs, uh, it's in the same order as the fire beetle. So you can do all, or all of these at the exact same time. Uh, make a trip in there uh, every, you know, 45 minutes or so and, and get a little bit more experience than you normally would get just uh, killing these creatures. And see, that's, unfortunately, right here is what you'll find uh, a lot of the time on the loot. Uh, it's, there's just nothing in it. The rest of the time, either will be the legs and occasionally you'll get an eye. So what we're going to go ahead and do now that you guys know where to hunt, uh, like I said, I'm not going to sit there and get all 10 eyes I already have. Don't forget, you can give uh, weapons to your pets, and when they die, you will be able to loot it, or at least that's supposed to be the case. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work that way. So don't give them anything that you don't want to lose. Let's go ahead and run back. If you guys ever get lost, just look for the place where the rock meets the grass and follow it all the way down. That will lead you close enough to the town uh, to hopefully get your bearings. You can see the entrance right there in the distance. The shadow wolf. Thankfully the guards will take care of all that for us. So let's go ahead and zone into the town. Remember, this is an evil town only, so you could come over here as a good rage, you could be a high elf, but you could not get close to the town, and it's really not a very good place for you at a low level, because there's a lot of guards uh, roaming around just uh, sporadically, uh, either on the roads, or sometimes they get off the roads and just kind of pay the way, uh, and they're, they're high level guards, they will kill you, so I would suggest only coming over to this uh, forest or this, this area in general if you were a, a good class uh, a good or, I mean an evil race not a good class uh, you don't want to do that so let's go ahead and go through now this is the first quarter there's gonna be a second and then a third and that's where we're going is to the third gate is what it's called this is not as a uh, friendly city I should say as far as the 
the way you have to get around the banks in the second quarter. It's not like the High Elf City where everything's pretty much in the very first area. There's only two areas in that town, and you really never, ever have to go to the second one. So they do make it a little bit more difficult on you with these quests, uh, or just playing over here in general. But you need to get used to that early on because evil classes are really pretty much hated almost everywhere you go. And even the cities where they're tolerated, uh, that's pretty much all they are is tolerated. They're not, you know, embraced in those cities. I mean, you are playing an evil class. Even hey guys, sorry about the uh, little jump right there. I went ahead and forgot to show you where to come to buy these fire beetle eyes. So I'm going to go through throw it into the video. Uh, hopefully you won't really see it too much the transition uh, but if you do that's why uh, so these are the people you want to buy the fire beetle eyes from if this is the route you want to go uh, simply click on them and you'll see they have fire beetle eyes for sale uh, it's two silver and nine copper of course you can change that based off your charisma and they only have uh, three more for sale but there's several people here who are selling them uh, in fact i'll show you the other guys who are selling them as well uh, he doesn't have any on him at the moment uh, and then you got another set of fire beetle eyes right here as well. So you can come in here and check them every so often, buy some fire beetle eyes. If you happen to have a little bit of cash on you and you want to do that instead of uh, doing the quest. Now you only get 13 silver for doing the quest, so this is not the greatest option in the world if you're just starting out. But if you have a high level character and you want to uh, level them up a little faster, this is definitely an option simply because... I don't see, consider it a cheat really because you're using your own cash to do it to get a little bit of extra experience a little faster and either way you worked for that you worked for the, the cash or you worked for the experience it's really the same to me and at higher levels you can earn the cash a little bit faster than you can at lower levels so again guys uh, I'll go ahead and exit out here and the other video will start sorry about the little transition I hope you guys uh, still enjoy the video well, people do not you know, embrace other evil people. They they just at least tolerate them. You know, and that's basically what you got going on here. And these cities can be very very confusing when you first start off trying to figure out where things are. If you're wanting to explore the town a little bit, uh, I did a video where I walked through. I showed you where all the NPCs are, gave you little tidbits about the zone and easy ways to remember how to get around. Uh, you're welcome to watch those videos as well if you're having trouble. Uh, you know, getting your bearings within these cities. That would be a really, really sucky post to have. I'd get tired after, probably after 20, 30 minutes. I couldn't sit, I couldn't sit there and swim for, you know, six or seven hours. So we're almost there. We are in the third quarter now. What we're going to go ahead and do is walk up here. We're going to go over to the uh, actual the Necro Guild, which is around this corner. A lot of people miss it. You don't think anything's over here. You just think it's going to be another dead end or around the building kind of thing. But there's actually a whole little quarter or a whole little section over here, I should say. And then this really, really bright red building. It's almost too bright. right over here is a good place to get your uh, necro spells as well. I've done a video and show you where to get your level 1 and level 4 spells. You want to come up here, take a right, go up a little further, and here it is. This is the guy we want to talk to. Now you're going to need to select him. You need to get pretty close. Sometimes if you're too far away it won't work. Say hail. And he says greetings, Namiro. We of the dead are proud to have you amongst us. Your lineage is well known, still you must learn to claw your way to the upper echelon. There are many menial tasks to be performed before you can truly be indoctrinated as a member or inducted as a member. A menial task are actually in parentheses. That's always a sign of a quest in this game. Now you can't just click on a little bubble or something like that to accept the quest. You literally have to type it out. So you say, uh, what? task. Remember to 
spell it exactly the way he does, otherwise it won't work. And it says, uh, you cannot avoid the toll of peons. We have all spent our time in the lower ranks. There are duties such as collecting beetle eyes. When you say collecting beetle eyes, make sure you take off the S. Take this chest. It has been filled with a mold designed to hold 10 beetle eyes. We require them for further experiments. Do not return until you fill the chest. So you may want to head over here and grab the chest before you even uh, get started on this quest so that you have a, a container to start with. You don't have any backpacks or anything when you first start the game. You just have empty slots over here. Uh, so this will give you... It only holds beetle eyes, unfortunately, but that will still give you something to take up the slots of all these beetle eyes that you're going to try to, you know, grab, because you literally do not have enough slots to even get the 10 that they require. So what you want to do is come over here and drop them in there. Remember, though, that if they are stackable items, you're going to want to unstack them by holding the control button down uh, and clicking on the item. You can't turn in stacked items most of the time, it just uh, messes up the quest, and you'll lose the items as well. So now that you got them all in there, we're going to go ahead and hit the combine button. And you see it combined it, now it's called a box of beetle eyes. And all you have to do is click on it, take it up to the guy, drop it on him, and this little window will pop up and it says give or cancel. And you're going to want to go ahead and give it to him. And that's your reward right there, actually got several rewards. And I'll take a look at them here in a second, but I want to show you the text. Fantastic work, my child. We shall store these for further experiments. Take this as extra payment for a jo uh, fine job. You have done so well, I believe you can assist in attaining the two other components. And that will lead to other quests, which I'll go and show you uh, with those on other videos as well. And uh, the faction standing, you always want to make sure you check those out to make sure that you didn't get bad or good faction uh, with somebody that you weren't planning on getting it with. Uh, so you got the, the dead, got better. Uh, Queen Christanus Thex got better. Uh, King Thex got worse. Uh, Keepers of the Art could not possibly get any worse, so apparently I already started the game with as worse faction as you possibly get. Uh, you got the Collective got worse, and uh, Malice got worse. So, overall, pretty much four out of the six got worse, and two got better. You need to be careful with your faction in this game because it can really uh, mess things up for you later on. But uh, doing quests in the city that you start with usually are a pretty safe bet. Go ahead and do the bread as well. And there you go, you got uh, a snack and you got a drink. Snacks don't last nearly as long as food does, uh, so this one's not going to last that long. But it's kind of nice, it's free. And you're going to need food and water, otherwise your power and health will not regenerate as fast as it normally will. So again guys, if you like these videos, please hit the like button, subscribe, uh, leave comments below if you'd like to see a certain quest being done, or a certain town or a zone being explored. And again guys, as always, thank you for watching.